Well, hello, model car fans. Welcome to the Muscle Car Modular. My name is Rao. And this week's build I'm featuring here, this is a 66 Corvette uh, Roadster. Now, the Roadster outsold the Coupe uh, heavily in 66. And the Roadster had always outsold the Coupes um, during this time period. And it wasn't until, I believe, 69 that the Coupes started actually outsell the Roadsters. But of the 27,000 um, something Corvettes made in 66, which was quite a bit, 17,000 of those were uh, Roadsters. So you're talking two to one here. And uh, some of the options uh, came with two motors, the 327 and the 427 motor. So the 327, they had a 350 horse and a 300 horse. But in the 427, there were two versions as well. There was the 425 slash 450 horse, depending on you know the sticker on your cleaner, but the motor was really no different. Um, it was really 425 horse was the most times you see the ratings, but every now and then you see uh, 450 horse. And there was also the 390 horse version as well. Um, and interestingly, they sold about equally. Uh, about 10,000 were 427 cars. Uh, it was a little over 10,000, but it was something like 5,100 of the 390 horse and 5,200. So a little over 100 something more of the 425 horse version. Uh, and you, you came with a three speed uh, manual tranny was standard. The power glide was optional and so was the uh, four speed manual were optional on that. Now also of those 17,000 Corvettes, um, 8,000 of them roughly got the hard top. So when I built this one, I had to have both tops. It's just me. Apparently when I like convertibles, I like to do both tops. So. Um, did both of them on this one and um, this was supposed to be the this body styles Corvettes last year but due to some other problems or things going on uh, they continued on with it for 67 with some minor changes but because of what was going on and the delay in the production of the 68 um, they ended up having one more year but initially it was said this was going to be the last year of this body style and it was just going uh, crazy as far as sales and production were going. Uh, it was also the last year for the knockoff wheels. I did put knockoff wheels on this one. Now, 67 did have a knockoff looking wheel, but it actually was not a knockoff. It had the five lug nuts and a cap that covered the lug nuts in a cone shape. So it gave you the look of knockoffs, but they were really not knockoffs. Also in 66, there were some changes made to it. Uh, most noticeably were the backup lights right here. Um, all of them had backup lights. I believe that became standard. Uh, so you'll see one tail and one backup light where it was starting to become optional on some of them. Um, and then in 67, they changed where the backup light was, was right above the license plate. But um, um, I also did this one in Nassau Blue. Uh, I'm not sure that's how you say it. But uh, I had to. I looked for this specific paint and did it on purpose because I really wanted to replicate this particular car and have some very fun with it. And I did matching interior as well. But uh, this was uh, quite a somewhat challenging build as I started with um, an original 66 AMT kit that was um, a restoration project. I had uh, actually bought uh, a small lot off of eBay that had two of them. I uh, had the a coupe and a convertible and there were definitely enough parts to build one at least and but I had enough of the 66 parts that I can almost build two of them so I had to just get um, I bought an AMT 66 or 63 convertible uh, and I looked for one of the later kits the prestige kit or the other one that has the actual 63 hubcaps because it has both tops which is where these tops came from and some of the other parts, but it has both motors as well, the big block and the small block. So I had some fun doing this one. As you can tell, it's really not box stock, but you know, I put the 427 in there, kind of built it right from how um, it comes in the kit. So I didn't really veer too much from the kit there. So, you know, I used it and then uh, no chrome valve covers, just had the painted valve covers. And I've used the photo etched emblems on it to get the, the 427 emblems there. And then 66 also had Corvette right here on the trunk and as well as on the hood here. Now this is not the kit hood, 
Uh oh, it feels kind of funny. Like it's wanting, okay, pull it back a little bit. Um, they, that's a model Haas hood. They had offered this hood for a while. So I had purchased that. And then I've got the correct 66 interior from the annuals. One of the giveaways, the annuals have these uh, grab bars here. And a lot of the repops, um, they filled that in. And there's a subtle differences in the dash there, um, which don't come out too well in the picture or in the camera when it tries to get in there. But, you know, it's a manual tranny, which, you know, it's Corvette. you got to have the manual tranny. And I had some fun with this as well. You can see I actually used my Dremel and ground away the dual exhaust and got rid of the molded-in exhaust. And I added the side pipes. Now, these side pipes came from the Ravel Monogram 67 kit. And uh, I did that, and it, it dressed it up quite a bit. And I, mean, I had to cut the rockers a little bit short, but I really wanted to add those and then make it the, the big block. So um, after getting that completed, getting the hood fitted and all the details there and the 66 uh, grill, um, which is pretty easy to get, but well, Model Haas did offer it. It's a little harder to get now, but uh, the 66 and 67 have that grill instead of the bar grill. And then, of course, the dated rear license plate there. So it was somewhat of a fairly easy restoration, but the windshield was completely gone. So I had cut the windshield free from the 63 Corvette and grafted it in place on this one to get it to fit. And the windshield fits just fine. I mean, a lot of these parts are really interchangeable, so it uh, comes out real nice. So I had done that and, uh, you know, fitted the roofs made sure that they fit everything and uh the interior fit real nice i mean they're pretty much the same tooling but you know the annuals were only issued the one time the 67 was issued a few times but it was backdated back into the 63 which is why the 63 is so easy to get um the tooling was backdated into that uh, also on these wheels i did use the 63's uh, knockoff wheels but those knockoff centers are from um, one of the AMT 62 Impala kits, I believe. Uh, I believe it's the 62. But um, they were in there and they just look so much nicer on those wheels and really make it stand out than what was there before. And also robbed a mirror from one of the other Corvette kits. Couldn't remember exactly which one I got that from, but it was one of the uh, Ravel or Monogram ones because those have the mirrors. But uh, this one, she came out really nice. And it's just, when it comes to this particular body style Corvette, this build is just one of my favorites because it just looks so good. And uh, just love the color, the side pipes and everything because since these really didn't come with side pipes as the kit went, I had to graft those in and just came out like super, super nice. And all the details are really in there. And she looks pretty good. Like I mentioned that hood or under the hood here getting that to pivot i worry about breaking the pins so i get real nervous about opening the hood it's got the expansion tank there and just some of the details but you know for the time being an amt this is actually a pretty nice kit and a lot of the annual kits back then that amt did a lot of them were really nice actually but as they you know get repopped and worn out so sometimes getting some of the original kits is is well worth it and you know what you get i'm trying to remember if the white letter tires were available i think they were optional in 66 most of them had didn't have it but even the knockoffs there was something like 1100 of them came factory with knockoffs so the knockoffs on a 66 are very rare most of them have the hubcaps which i, I used those on my other 66 when i built that one but i only had one set of factory wheels and i'm like i really wanted to put the knockoffs on this one so i did but, uh, you know, pretty simple chassis, but uh, she, she just looks really good and worked out really, really well. I had to fill in the um, balance panel here where the exhaust tips came through because it did have holes there. And um, just, you know, this thing's just, just a lot of fun. So I figured I would show you guys this one for this weekend, um, give you something to drool over. And here's one of the ones that I had restored, but I didn't restore it out of the box. This one... Is a custom build, even though it represents a factory stock car, but it's not, you know, out of the box stock. So there was a lot of work involved in actually creating this one and getting it done to look like this. 
and then getting the you know the two tops and all that stuff but thankfully you know that 63 kit has been repopped a number of times even though most of them are the coupe but they did come out with the roadster and some of the versions have both tops and the original hubcaps and everything and that's the one i look for when i go to get these so that i can get both tops and everything i have a few more of these to restore but i finished the 266s i got a 65 roadster to do a 64 roadster to do believe it or not it's kind of funny the 63 roadster that i keep talking about that kit i still have not built one even though i've robbed them for parts um, but I haven't actually built that one. Um, should be one of the next, uh, one of these, uh, C2 Corvettes or Stingray Corvettes I should build. Um, still got to do a 67. I haven't, uh, built one of those 67s as well. So it's kind of funny thing, you know, I got all of these restored ones, did all of these work, but my collection still has some holes in it. But, uh, that'll, uh, finish this one up. So I just wanted to show this one off to you guys and see what you thought of it and as one of my, uh, hardworking restorations that I did uh, a few years back and I'll put uh, I've got a few pictured pictures of in progress so I'll kind of show you those as well from what I started with to this but uh, anyway uh, watch for those pictures at the end and you guys you have a great weekend and thank you for your comments and suggestions and your likes and hit that bell button and everything and check out our sponsors below. They're in the video description. I really do appreciate it. You guys have a wonderful weekend and I will see you next Saturday.